Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 440, NASDAQ up 108, S&P's up 46. Gold, gold contract trading up $8.20 to 2,532 an ounce. We have silver up 47 cents, $28.66 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 12, $68.79 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up two ticks, trading out at a price point of 115.03, the 30 year up 10 at 126.06 and king dollar king dollars trading up 352 ticks where are you come on king dollar get me. there it is up there yeah 376 ticks at 101 553 euros 110 yen is out here at 142 and the british pounds at 130 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks I wonder what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we got the S&Ps up 46 right now. This is the type of market that can drive everyone right out of their mind. Why? Bottom line, you come down hard and fast. S&Ps come down with 68 million on Friday. We're doing 27 million right now. When you take a look at it intraday, let's bring this up. What you're going to see... I'm going to bring up the E-minis here so you can see how this is set up. So on the E-minis, you know, bottom line, you had a nice pop. First pop, we got up to the uh, 54.79. Now you can see when we come down, there's no sellers on the way down, man. That's the bottom line. You can see that right there if you're watching Tiger TV. Bottom line, just no sellers on the way down. We go up again. Guess what? Yeah, you're up, but not with volume. We come back down again. Now, as we just come back down, the last low that was established out here at 54.59 has volume. So I suspect it's probably going to try to go after that coming into the close. That being said, I just see this as a sideways move that I think this level here is going to hold a little bit lower. Why? Because this is the building cause for lower price, folks. If you're a bull, you don't want to see this happen. That's the real bottom line because the, the longer that we go sideways, all that's doing is building calls for the next leg down to go after that high volume low from the 5th of August. So if we take a look at it, you're going to see right now in the SPY, you know, bottom line, you haven't gone anywhere. That's that's the bottom line. You know, you know, if if my take is that if we had a bottom coming in, you'd normally reject the lower price. Then you'd be blasting off. That's the real bottom line. You don't have that case. So we have in the queues, you know, the queues are still the weakest. The Q's right now up at three dollars and eighty and seventy-eight cents, eighty-three cents right now. Uh, the last bar on the Q's did have volume, so that baby's going to go back down to the uh, three forty-eight nineteen area. Oh, three forty-eight? Ooh, no, three forty. Hold it one second. No, that's on a daily. That's on a daily. No, no. Yeah, I knew that was for one second. Let me get this on the intraday. Okay. Well, put that there. Okay. So on the intraday, yeah, here we go. You can see on the intraday what the queues had done. The queues had, had come down this morning. You can see there's, there's no sellers on the way down. You know, it, it was hitting the last bar on Friday. And the last bar on Friday had 5.2 million. And we hit that bar and rejected it with 438,000. Now, just on the other side, you get over the spike of the highs of today, gave it up in spades. You only had uh, 385,000 versus 853. So what does that set up? That sets up the same type of setup. So, folks, sideways move. It looks to me, when you get a sideways move like this, most of the time we're going to move sideways for three or four or five days. That's what normally happens. And if that's what we get, bottom line, my take, well, the the Q's anywhere in ABC down at uh, 437, I believe. Yeah, 437 is the number. A to B equals C to D. Broke the B point, broke it with volume, all of the above. And now you're building the cause. We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And I suspect the dollar is going to be the culprit, by the way. We take a look at the dollar. What you have with the dollar is this, is that dollar has a big bounce going. 
We are at 101.569. The last swing high up here was the 103, 101 rather, 317. Now, I suspect we're going to get higher than that. You know, we'll pop into that tomorrow. We'll see how that baby uh, gets up there. And then if we go to the gold market, we take a look at the gold market. What we have with the gold market out here is that we did reject lower price today at the 2514 area. It had lighter volume. You know, so now we'll see whether this thing can basically get above the breakout and stay above the breakout. What has happened is this. That we got above the breakout with a nice sign of strength on the 16th of August. Got higher and then couldn't hold it. You know, came right back inside the range again. We'll see what the catalyst is in order to basically get that done. We go to the note and bond market. And we take a look at the note and bond market. What we have out here in the note and bond market. We already broke top side the note and bond market. We broke top side uh, last Wednesday. So that still wants higher price, lower yield. Uh, what we do have happening, folks, is that on this Wednesday, so Monday's today, Wednesday, what will happen is that TFNN will be black. What I mean specifically, what happened is this. Unfortunately, we had a huge uh, water intrusion in the building that we're in. We had, I actually had three floors in the building. Thank God I had just given one of the offices up at the end of August. Uh, but the bottom line is that huge water intrusion end up being black mold, monster deal. So we're moving the offices on Wednesday. So the Tiger's Den will be up and going. That'll be fine. But there'll be no programming on Wednesday. What may happen when I'm on the air right now in the next hour we may have to shift to um, a replay. Hopefully, we're not going to wait for uh, to get out, and get the rest of this wired because uh, we're out of the office. Not uh, so. I just want to stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow at 421, Nasdaq up 106, S&P's up 44. We'll come right back. Thank you.